the name of my ancestors. Peace forever and always and welcome to another edition of what we call the Realities Temple on Earth Internet Ministry. I am the gatekeeper or the host of this program known here on social media wherever you may find me I am known as the mighty 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 mm, angel snub nub seven I am your soul brother number one it makes no difference how many times I say this it makes no difference. It makes no difference how many times we say or I say we keep it real. It, it makes no difference. No matter what I say Even though the message that comes from this platform, it is unorthodox, it is not popular because it conflicts with long standing tradition that clearly does not work. That's why we are here. But there are those who will still view me like them. You don't take Angel Snub Nub 7 very serious. I'm just a YouTube preacher. And the reason why I am just a YouTube preacher is because you don't want nothing else. I have said many times on this platform, I'm not going to sacrifice my life for a bunch of ingrates. I'm not going to do that. There was a time when I had that attitude. I'm going to die for my people. I want to die for the struggle. There was a time. But now, time has shown me that's not going to get you nowhere. Why are you going to sacrifice your life for a group of people who don't deserve life? They walk in the valley of the shadow of death and they are comfortable. They enjoy death. They enjoy slavery and murder and rape. Abortion, fornication, and adultery. They don't want to change. They only talk about it. Because the reality is, you like this. Even though we are a small group here on this platform, we still should be doing bigger things. When I was in the nation of Islam, I was a fruit of Islam, one of the soldiers. It was a requirement every Sunday. Do not come to the temple by yourself. Bring guests. So if we are only ten, dedicated 
understanding reality and we accept reality and we are dedicated to this platform if there's only 10 there should be 20 all the time because you bring yourself and you're going to bring a guest one guest at minimal you can bring 200 if you want in the nation of Islam where there are no temples or mosques they have study groups and then they grow to the point where possibly they can turn into a mosque a real temple there's nothing wrong with you those who you know people on the street you can make up your own flyers invite people to to listen to the realities temple on earth live or our uh, replay broadcast you can gather enough people where you can say hey I got 20 people here could you come to Houston could you come to Baltimore could you come to California we want to hear you live And we figure out the logistics and the economics. I would get on a plane and come talk to y'all. Because I am the final call. If the preachers, if they can claim they have a connection to God, and they are divine. Why can't angels snub them seven? Because according to their logic, I'm a child of God. So as a child of God, why can't I be connected to the most high? To the supreme being and the supreme being and the most high give me revelations for us. My sheep know my voice. Apparently, you don't know God's voice because the God, the supreme being, using your logic, is speaking through angel snub number seven. I am the real final call. I am the real divine reminder. Bringing us a plan. Giving us vision and purpose and guidance with no with no foreign influence giving you guidance I don't quote from the Bible I don't quote from the Quran the information is coming directly no middleman from the supreme being we're using your logic because God loves you and you prayed and you asked the supreme being you asked God give us our own give us that black messiah you pray for it but then when God gives you the black messiah because the black messiah does not appear in the manner that you believe. Hey, you can't be no black messiah. You don't even want to call yourself black. You talking about some soul stuff. Soul brother, sister stuff. You ain't talking about the Bible. You ain't talking about the Quran. You can't be the black messiah. But I do. I refer to us as black because that's what we're used to. 
I will even refer to us as Africans or Aboriginal, whatever you like. It makes me no difference. Because that's what we want. That's what we're used to. And I do quote from the Bible. I do quote from the Quran. In fact, I'm coming from scriptures as I talk right now. I dare to stand here, or sit here rather, <laughs> and tell you, your Savior has arrived. And if you listen to my story, I was formed, developed, and made for this time. Before you run out of time. And if you don't heed the call, if you don't go extinct, because I'm not a prophet, I can't foretell the future, but I would tell you, because even Dr. Claude Anderson said, if we don't straighten up what we're doing here, we have doomed our children to becoming a permanent underclass. There's always going to be exceptions to the rules. Certain people going to be able. There's always going to be a, a Jay Z, a Muhammad Ali, uh, 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 a Will Smith, Denzel Washington, Jada Pinkett, a uh, 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 In Vogue. There's always going to be some of us using entertainment and sports, uh, or or we hit the lottery. There's, there's always going to be exceptions to the rule where we can rise up outside unless, unless somebody else takes charge. Because you keep hoping that the white man will become the, mino uh, yeah, the minority in this country and that way the, the brown and the black people can rise. Yeah. Do you think these Hispanics love you? These other foreign, these other people that can rise up? In fact, they could be worse. They would destroy all of our accomplishments in this country when they take power. There's nothing that you can do because you're nothing but a permanent underclass. You have to go wherever the wind blows. Right now, the wind has been white folks for the last going on 500 years. But when Hispanics or whoever come into power, it's not going to be you. You're not unified. You don't have your act together. That's the purpose of the Mississippi campaign. Your training wheels to get you ready to become an adult, get you ready for power. You don't understand that because you're caught up in the fantasy and the delusions of these pan-African pro-blackness, religious, spiritual teachings. But you don't understand reality. You can't comprehend how the real world works. And so you will doom our future generations to be a permanent underclass and they will curse you. They will hate us. This generation, we blew the time because your Messiah is here. The time is here. Everything that you wanted is here. But you didn't recognize the time. Get on board the soul train. And let's get this job done. All right? <laughs>